So when we got married, afterwards, um, he, he was crying then actually. That no, that was not what um, he planned. That blah blah blah. Sorry, why was he crying? That his parents told me to oh, abort. Lord. So I said no problem. So we moved ahead. So we got married. Then we moved Shortly after I had my first child, he started acting up. I'm sorry, wait, how did you end up marrying if his parents were not in support of the pregnancy in the first place? They came back telling me they were, they were just teasing me. Uh -uh. So the son told me tease. that it was a lie, that they went to a church and the pastor told them no, they shouldn't try it, that they regret it. Mm -hmm. So they came back telling me the uh -uh. lie that... But they are pastors now. Uh, they go about going to churches too. So Different churches. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, okay, carry on. So, when we got, so a few months after I had my first child, he started um, acting up, lying. Different women would call, and sometimes he told me, Oh, please let me pick the call. And the woman would be Wait, me. now, did he have a job now? Or yes, what? yes. So, after yes. all your sponsoring, yes, he got the job. He got the he job. He got the job. He got the job. And um, and they'll be asking me, Who am I? So, apparently, he wasn't telling people he was, he was married. married. And oh. yes, and mm -hmm. Unfortunately for him, we worked on the same bank. So my superiors in the bank were like, ah, this guy, they know him now. He's married to my subordinate. He's married to my friend. And, and he will come home and start fighting with me that he doesn't want to see me with those people that, um, why, why are they talking about his marital affairs? And I'll be like, did you tell them you are married? Because he refused to wear the wedding band. And I bought the wedding band. My grandmother sponsored the wedding. His parent just... His parents didn't even... Nothing. Because they, they have nothing and they are so proud. Even the siblings, they are like that. They have nothing. I've never seen such people before. They have nothing and they are so arrogant and they feel they are they are better than the other person. Wow. So it's like that for them. Mm. And and you so, married them after seeing that. I, did, I didn't see, I didn't see that. that. I didn't see that at that time. And um, then, and when we got married, the mother was always telling me things like, ah, my son is very intelligent. So I'll be like, it got to a stage I had to tell her that mom, mama, please, I graduated with the, four, uh, the second class offer too. Remind us. And that. yes, I have, um, what's it called, ICANN and uh, what's it called, CIPM. And what professional. Uh, you have all these. Yes, I said, what professional exam does your son have? Although I've not completed my, I have just one more stages to, to become chartered. And your son doesn't have any of those. So what? So she was shocked, like, ah, so you have all those and you are, you are not working with your That's certificate fine. and everything. And I'll be like, that's what I chose. So she stopped saying that nonsense that and my son is intelligent, my son is this. I said no. Your son graduated with a two one. I did this. I have the same two one. So what is the whole issue? So she stopped that. So and uh, afterwards, it started going about with women partying. I've never seen a married man become a uh, what was it called a um, 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 what was it called best man. That's his own um, thing. Every weekend he's always besting someone and. It's not like it was business that he was collecting. No, money. it wasn't. <laughs> it's just like partying. And I mean, I'm not the party type and everything. Wow. So, eventually, when uh, the whole issue, st we were managing it. I told his mother when he got so hot for me, and mm -hmm. she was like, ah, "No, that you manage. Or that that's how they are in their family." I'll be like, "Ah, the managers. <laughs> that they manage. That the father is. Ah, that the father is what so they have to tomorrow. That that's what she's going through. Mm -hmm. And they are in their early sixties. So and I said, to so to continue the same, same thing." The abuse and everything. So, when I got pregnant last year for him, my husband was like, "Oh, so I caught him on three occasions with condoms, cheating, having sex on the phone with women while I'm there." So when I go to my, he chased me out of our matrimonial room, so I was staying in a separate room. So when I go to my husband, oh, um, this he would chase me away. That you crazy? What? House that I'm sure you paid rent for. Her. No, no, no. He's, he started doing well, and that was when he started showing his true color. So he would tell me, no. So when I call the condom in this uh, possession, it would be like, eh, it's just keeping I said, is condom part of the things you use in the banking industry now? It would be like, I should get away this and that and... So I said, I'm going to tell your parents what you do. He said, even if I tell them, they will support him. So I should go ahead. I thought he was joking. Not until I told his parents and they were trying to um, play smart with me. They would tell me something else that, oh, uh, we are sorry what you are going through. They will talk to him behind my back. They will tell him another thing because he was the one feed, um, part feeding of the people them. feeding them. So they would always dance to his tune. So when I got pregnant for him last year, he told me he's not ready. And you have two boys already. He said he's not ready. 
they were in 2023 now. Yeah, that was 2021. That's yeah, late 2021 when I got pregnant. He said, no, he's not ready, this, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he asked me to abort it. I was begging him that, don't worry, I'm so your third pregnancy now. The third one, okay. that I'm going to take care of the baby till you are okay. He said, no, that so far is the one that impregnated me. No, I must get rid of it. Uh, so, but he has a good job now. Yes. He's doing well in the bank industry. He's doing very well. And he got you pregnant and then told you told to, me abort. to abort. As a married wife. Yes. Okay. So he told me to abort it. So I was crying, begging him, and he refused. So he has these cliques of friends that they act like they are bankers. They act like gigolos. They sleep with all those top um, their superiors mm. in, the, in the office to get more cash. Because he told me about some until I got I saw his text message with his superior that they are missing you and this and and I was like. That's the kind of people he moves with. And when I complain, he'll tell me you, you can't dictate the kind of person I, I move with. Mm. So he, he even drinks. The day I caught him smoking, and the parents will come like, ah, their son, you know, I see they move with him. Wait, they are pastors? Yes, they are pastors. Senior pastors or? They are full pastors. They are area pastors. Area pastors? Yes. They are even marriage counselors. So I wonder ah, where they are wow. counseling people. Area so, pastors? Yes. Both, both parents are full pastors. Hmm. Okay, I'm listening. So it was like so he forced me. He has people that I will go to that they will take him to doctors that are professional in abortion. So <laughs> he came home, he gave me the drugs. I had to Google it because I, I wasn't I'm not comfortable with the way like this. So I had to take the drugs and I was crying and it didn't even feel so bad and everything just walked away. So it got so difficult that the main sight of me in the house was like you are I said, irritant. I'll be like, I'm not a fat person. I'm not this. I go even when I go to the gym. Even when I go to the gym, and people in the gym will be like, they don't even know that I'm married or I have kids. So when I they see you're me, a very beautiful woman. They'll be like, you know, I'm looking at are you? Right are you? Such a beautiful woman. Are you? Are you? As in who, whose kids are this? I'll be like my children. They'll be like from where to where now. That you are slim, and even for my husband to appreciate me, he will tell me, ah. He's getting fat or he's having round tummy and me I'm looking younger every day. I'll be like, ah. is that the compliment I should get from my husband? Because I even paid for the gym. He will tell me, actually you have money now, you're a CEO. And I said, no, I'm just trying to manage my, my health and everything. It's not as if he will, will say things to bring me down, he will say things to hurt me emotionally. He wasn't beating me actually, but the emotional torture was, was, was very present. Because you wouldn't be, I can't tell people what I'm going through. So when I had the abortion for him, that was um, late 2021. So I started, um, towards the um, early 2022, I started having issues with my, I couldn't sleep. I was having tremor and they would prescribe drugs, but it wasn't working. So not until the doctor told me that they are going to refer me to a, a psychologist, I'll be like, psychiatrist or psychologist? Psychologist. Okay. And I'll be like, from psychologist, if this thing gets worse, maybe it will be a psychiatric case and everything. So I started crying. That was when I started telling people what I was going through and we'll be like, are you for real? And you are, you are strong. For you to, to go through this and you are all like this. So that was when I said, oh, this is, this, I'm, I'm in a big mess. So when I, I so I started taking drugs for uh, what was um what was it called um um drugs for um was it depression no 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 not depression because okay. I was telling him that I'm scared that I might fall into depression he wouldn't have any he would tell me do you know the meaning of depression I'll be like because the way the way he acts even when I was pregnant when I tell him oh I'm having backache I'm having he would tell me what's his business and he would turn and sleep off and I'll start crying. So when I told him, when I had the second baby through cesarean session, I told his father that this guy should not follow me to the hospital because I'm going to lay a course on him. The father was like, ah, no, don't do that to They were begging me. Because he made me feel worthless. I'm carrying your child. I did everything for this guy. Everything. So, but this, the, now I'm pregnant because I was using um, drugs to, to not to get pregnant. Birth control. Birth control. And um, the one I used previously wasn't okay with me. So I started taking pills, and this one failed. So I was even like three months plus. I was I didn't know. So I was telling the doctor failed that. Failed asthma. You got pregnant. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, ah, no, I have malaria. They said no, don't trim it out. I was even telling them I'll come the following week for another, um, what's it called, um, birth control. So they said no, they, let's do this um, pregnancy test. I said no, I can't be pregnant. So when we did the test, 
I discovered I was pregnant. I started crying. The doctor was like, How, how, how long you come? How far you come? Three months plus. Wow. And three months you did I, I didn't know because my previous pregnancy, I would menstruate and do the normal thing. But this one wasn't like that. So I was like, No, that is not possible. So I started crying. The guy, the doctor said, What is the problem? That you might do my what's the problem? I said, My husband is not going to have any of this because I aborted for him in 2021 and everything. He was like, He would be shocked. So when I called my father in law there, it was even before I told him that I went for the test, he told me he had a vision that it's going to be a good result. I said, How can malaria be a good yeah. result? That I said I shouldn't terminate the pregnancy, that I'm going to lose my life if I try it. I'm sorry, what about your my parents? father in law? Are your parents in the picture at all? No, my, my okay. father is late. Okay. But my mother knows about it. Okay. So my father in law called my mother that I shouldn't try anything that because I'm going to lose my life if I try anything. That night I called my husband and he was like, No, he's not ready for this. He's mm -hmm. planning to take us abroad. Mm -hmm. yes, so abroad I that he's planning he's planning abroad. I know he's planning to relocate. I'm not in the I'm not you. I'm not in the picture. Because when he traveled in August to Dubai, he didn't tell me when he was processing it. He didn't tell me when he would be coming back. And he's been like that. He doesn't stay at home even I, and it's such a flimsy excuse well, because people on. travel to give birth, so having been pregnant doesn't no, affect I want your to travel understand plan. something. How does it being that you were the sole sustenance of this guy, you were the one that when he didn't have in the beginning, you weren't even married, it was your shop, you would eat, you would give him money for transportation. I give him food stuff. You, say, to take you, you paid his transportation to where to do an exam, you paid for it, you know, even where after he got the job, you were giving him transport money, you were in a relationship, and then from that, when he now became comfortable, comfortable. suddenly he could not sleep in the yeah. same room with you. He would told me, when, when we go to the end of the year party in the office, he would tell me on the way, that don't tell anybody when they ask you your fashion. Don't tell them your fashion designer. Tell them your fashion interpreter. No, okay. I'll be like the well, same well, money. The same money that sent him mm. to the exam is now. Hey, yeah. Okay, please. Let's. We so have just have three minutes. So we now, just now I, that I got pregnant, he said he's not going to have any of it. That I must leave his house if I'm not ready to terminate the pregnancy. Okay. So the father said, Ah, no, that ah, I won't terminate it. So he told his father, No, his father is joking. Right in the. Uh, their mm -hmm. presence. So he told me that he gave me one week to leave the house. I said, to where now? Where do I? I have nobody. Where do I go to with my two children? He said, no, he's going to take the children from me. That's what I said, no, I'm alive. I have my, no, I will have to go with my children. I should give me till the end of the term for me to move with my children. He said, no. So when he got violent with me, that was on um, 21st of, um, 26th of October, 2022. He got violent because he usually give me 40,000 for upkeep and you want to eat tilapia eat everything <laughs> from forty thousand, you he will come home his friends are eating this kind of fish and he's not giving me that kind of um amount of money so i had to add my own money to it and i wasn't really complaining about your stuff trying he's always lying he doesn't have money he doesn't and he will be going clubbing and all those stuff so he chased me so i had to run when he was he got violent with me that on the 26th so i had to take to my use on the 27th Yes, pregnant. So I had to leave with my kids and He told you to leave if either I you are bought or, or leave, leave his house. So I had to leave because the marriage wasn't working. I can't it, it doesn't touch me. Even when he traveled for two weeks, the third week when he came home, I was trying to make advances. He chased me like as if I'm a mad person. <laughs> so Okay. So, so ladies and gentlemen, um, the we don't really have much time. But you know, we try to make you know that we do our thorough, thorough investing. Anybody that I bring here, you know that, first of all, it is a case that I am handling or have handled. How did you hear about me? Yes, yeah, from um, my church um, marriage committee. Your church, my eh? <laughs> Please whisper the name of the church. Let me help. Let me hear. What was? What was? Oh, where we go on a break? You <laughs> tell us the name okay. of the church. Where okay. we go on a break? <laughs> okay. They told you to yeah. call me. Yes. Interesting. And then I remember the episode at um, the state CID. How the pastors came. I had to call a friend of mine. It was that the case that I called another pastor friend of mine that you should come and see. His area pastors. Anyway, we have a a a, a, a voice note some evidence for you to listen to.
it's six minutes long guys so we'll take a few minutes of it or seconds just to get a feel of you know some of the things that have occurred in the state of between her and her husband exactly. listen all right i already told you i said i can't come with it i already told you so what's the plan what's the plan going forward what plan i need to know what's the plan we had a discussion yesterday Hey, I already told you. I said I can't terminate it. I already told you. Why can't you terminate it? So why did you tell her girl we went before the phone? Because when I told your dad, he said it's between life and death. And I looked at it too. I don't want to risk my life for him. My dad, my dad told you it's between life and death. That was what he said. I shouldn't do it. So my dad, my dad is the doctor. You don't have you not done this in the past? I've done it, but that was uh, in well, ask, answer me. Have you not done not even the way you did for me? Even before you done what I would do, have you not done it in the past before your past life? You took me to do it now. I'm I'm only asking. I'm not asking. Okay, I took you to do it. Mm. The way you did in Yabata at that time, I'm the one that took you to do it. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Because you keep saying you've done operation before. The operation they did. It's how stomach and that place is how both legs. Anyways, what? No, no, that's the wrong thing. Why? It's just your stomach that will open for this one. Is it the stomach? Why nobody is touching your stomach? No, but but it's the same thing. I'm not doing. It. No, it's fine. So I just I just want to be sure. So we know how. So we have our agreement and how we can clarify things quickly. No problem. So that, that's just what I'm saying. Okay. So please, please, I give you a week. Okay. I give you a week. Find out you sort sort out your things. Okay. We have to move out. Okay, what about my children? My children are safe. They are safe with me. Except that I see that you have a better place to put them. But I'm not going to let you take them to somewhere that that is below on the quality of the quality that they're getting there. Yeah, that's no problem. I'll get I'll get a good place. But you give me time. I can't get a place within one week. So I, give I, me time. I am not giving I'm not giving any time. That's 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 my maximum. I can't give my children for you. Why don't you I don't know? Take care of them. She was to balance it. She how do you how do you intend to take care of them? Or you will bring I don't know. How do you want to do it? You take them to someone else. That is not their mother. When I'm alive. That's 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 what so that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So think it think it through what you have to do between now and the end of the week. I am not I'm not going to leave them. To go and suffer elsewhere as well. Who wants them to suffer? Who, I'm not going to let my kids suffer either. So give me some time. I can't do anything within a week. So give me some time. I don't. How much time are you looking for? Yeah, at least let them finish their uh, exam. This is um, the midterm already. Let them finish their what's it called first time exam. Then then I'll move like out. December. Yes, I'll move out. No, I can't. I can't wait till December. Okay, no problem. I can't. No I can't wait till December. Uh, there's nothing God cannot do. God will uh, give me space. Uh, what's it called? Get me a place before before that time. Okay. okay. All right. Please, this and give us give us this week. Let me see what you can do. Give you. I'm not some of your things to maybe to your mom or I don't know whatever. I'm not can. saying I'm not going to move them, but you have to give me written agreement that you. What's written agreement? Yeah, you said that written agreement. You said that you about it. I said no. Then you want me what's, to. What's 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 stupid? What's stupid written agreement? No, 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 it's not written. Did you ask for my agreement before you went to take out take 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 out take out the the the, the family plan? I did. She did. Oh, so he thought you stopped your family planning. That's why you took him. Mm. But if, if he was so irritated with you, why was he still having sex with you? I, I don't even get it. He just had me in the house like a slave. That's the way he was treating me. Anyway, that's thank just you. a few thank minutes. Of, that's so not even the whole conversation. Thank you so much because we don't have uh, so much time. But I think from this uh, voice note, you can understand how. She was given oh, a week. He himself, why did he not go and do? I forgot what they call it for men. Why did he not go and tie his own something? I think I'm annoyed. The, the condition was that I give you a week. Either you terminate your pregnancy or you leave the house. And that is how a day, almost 24 hours to the end of the week, I think, he now became violent. That was, you reached out to me just before that time. No, that was after that time. It was after that time. Yes. Okay. Mm. No, no problem. This is the long and short of it. 
she was someone who was doing better than the man. The man would come sit down, and she would uh, lunch, uh, transportation, even, provision uh, you parents. know, uh, provisions for his parents. Uh, when she found out that they were doing uh, an interview, it was too long. He couldn't even tell his parents she sponsored the trip to where he gave him money for, you know, did everything so that he could get a job. And the moment he got the job, he could now afford to show that, listen, don't even stay in the bedroom with me. Go to another room. Now he started showing. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, stay within your social class. Stay within your social class. For